Good morning <clears throat> and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. It is Monday. I have to check the date. 5th of August 2024. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. <clears throat> if you're joining me live, uh, do say hi. It's always lovely to know who is watching with us and if you're watching on replay whether that is on Facebook or my YouTube channel Gemini Crafts then also say hi or if you have any queries or comments and you need um, just to pop some feedback in or you have any questions then pop those in the comment section as well and I will get back to you I do monitor them um, on a regular basis YouTube is a bit easier to reply to Facebook is a little bit hit and miss with their um, messaging and comments um, but a welcome to you my name is Jenny McCormack I am an independent stamping up demonstrator. I'm based in the market town of Brackley, which is near the Silverstone Racing Circuit in Northamptonshire here in the UK. Each week I choose a stamp set of the week and I feature that in both of my live sessions here on Facebook and also at Coffee and Card on Monday, Tuesdays and Fridays. So coffee and cards starting tomorrow uh, we're going to be using this cute little set. As you can see it's called Sweet Peas and it's all about peas the vegetables as opposed to sweet peas the flowers and we've just got some really fun little images and fun sentiments. So We've got happy birthday, welcome sweet pea, you make me happy, and hello grumpy. Um, and I know quite a few people who <laughs> who know people who's, who that would be perfect for as a card. Morning Catherine, thanks for joining us. So we have two little um, foliage images, a small one here and a larger one. We have some... Uh, tiny little dots here and then we have the main images so we've got some partying peas here and here we've got two peas together with a little heart and we've got this cute little one here obviously which is perfect for um, a new arrival and then we've got the grumpy <laughs> grumpy pea there on their own so cute little stamp set you can find it in the annual catalogue it is a photopolymer set, so all of the stamps are clear, which makes it easy for positioning. And I've stamped this out, and normally I stamp out all of these individually. And I do recommend you do that, because it gets the stamps in your hands, basically. And it does mean you can check for any faulty stamps at the time that you buy it. Um, because if you catch up with it later... Um, stamping up may not be able to replace it if it was near the end of the life of the catalogue for example so uh, what I actually did this time round was I popped this whole sheet on my stamparatus and stamped the whole thing in one go just so you didn't have to sit here and watch me do all the individual pieces so I'm just going to do a nice simple card for coffee and card for this week so I'm going to use some square cards and I've got some Granny Apple Green for my um, cards themselves. And then I thought I would just use some different shapes. So I've got this lovely tag shape, which of course fits perfectly um, in there. And then I've got a circle, and I've got a smaller circle, and I've got a square. So I'm not quite sure which ones I'm going to use for which purpose. Um, what I thought I would do is start by stamping one of them in the background with the foliage, either the large or the small or a bit of both. And the colour card I've got here, as I said, is Granny Apple Green. So I could use Tone on Tone 
or I could use um, espresso or I could use garden green as a darker one let me bring out a piece of paper just to put underneath here so I'm just going to do the background which way I'm going to have this opening sideways I think so I hope everybody is well and that you had a good weekend um, I wonder let's see if I chose the circle one I could put the small one in each of the corners so let's do that for one and then the other one I think I'll just do all the way over and let me see I'm going to go early espresso but I might do garden green on the other one so this is the smaller of the two foliage stamps very cute even in their own right so I'm just going to put one in each corner just going round hopefully I've left enough space put it as far into the corner as I can one two three four yes that one works that's that one there and then for this one which I think I'm going to do the tag um, maybe I'll do the larger one all over let's change color and see I'm going to try garden green let's put that one up there because I might use that in a minute okay so this one is going to go all the way over let's start at the top and I guess I could use um, both of these, the large and the small one, of course. So I'm just doing these relatively randomly. This is going up and down today. Um, but I'm just using the rule of three. So any three of these items are equidistant. So I might create a little triangle with each three and that gives you a really nice relatively even which way does that one go? Backing without ending up with too many gaps and work from one end down. Don't go around the outside and then find you've got you haven't got enough space in the middle. Having said that we are going to cover some of this up anyway so in this case it's not critical hello Carol um, let's see let's have this one coming across And again just sticking to that rule of three as much as I can and then you can just use the tip of the stamp if you've got any obvious gaps I still ink up the whole stamp don't try and just ink up the edge that's where you get um, more ink on your block than is necessary she says having got ink on the block anyway okay so I've got one backing there and one here and I think I do prefer the garden green to the espresso interesting enough normally my go-to as you know if you follow me for any while is espresso but I think on the green and also you could use granny apple green so you have tone on tone as well okay so let's see which image we're going to use so this one i'm thinking i want to sort of utilize that little corner 
and so what I could do with is one there and then I could use happy birthday so I think what I'm going to do is stamp the happy birthday first and see which one is going to fit morning Caroline Catherine prefers the green as well so this is I've got a little party hat <laughs> um, peas and we've also got this individual one so that would work there and let's see if the happy birthday will fit in there which it will like so okay I'm happy with that so let's do this one first so I know that that's going to fit in so I'm going to I'm not going to worry about which one I stamp first um, I could go for the green as well so I'm inking this up a fair bit because I know there's not a huge amount of ink on that ink pad so my happy birthday is going to go there on the right like so let's pop that on a small block And I think just to break that up, I'm going to do that one in espresso. Happy birthday. And what I want to do is get that um, edge of that tag straight so I can stamp my sentiment fairly straight. Doesn't have to be exact. Happy birthday. So that's going to go like so. And we'll colour in the little peas accordingly. And I just wonder, I think I might put that little flower here across the bottom. in the green like so foliage it is rather than flower isn't it okay so that when i do my coloring that's going to be one of them if i just lift it up hopefully you can see that okay and then for this one I've got this really pretty design. I'm looking for my pokey tools, which I think are in the other room. Nope, there's one. I spotted a couple of pieces that hadn't come apart. There's one. Sometimes they, you pop them through and they just stick on the back and then they put themselves back in place later. Okay, so that one's going to go on to there and let's see so the one we've used here is the sort of um, birthday one so I might just use could have three grumpy peas and then hello grumpy but uh, maybe I'll have those two. Let's do that. And I'm going to stamp this one in the espresso and then decide at the end of the day which one I like. So let's swap that one out. Pop this one on our circle. And then a quick bit of colouring and we're done. Um, let's 
one. And maybe I'll have this one blowing the party. What do you call it? I thought of the name this morning and I can't think of it again. I'll think of the name in a minute. <laughs> okay, there we are. So that's uh, most of our stamping, unless I do something on the inside of the card. So let's do some quick colouring of that. So I'm just going to use Granny Apple Green pens. Um, blends pens but you could use lemon lime twist you could use garden green you could use old olive really whatever you have to hand it's quite a small area so I think you could also get away with using stamp and write markers so this is the uh, the dark so I'm just going to do a little outline here this will keep everybody quiet at coffee and card a bit of colouring there we go so dark a bit there I've got two Granny apple green dark. This is the light one. So just blending that in. There's only a small area, so you don't have to get too het up about the colouring. So I like to use a circular motion and just go over the bits there. And I'll just do this light, but you could do this the pea stalk in a crumb cake or something if you wanted to. And then let's do the peas. So I'm just doing a darker bit on the left hand side. I will lift this up so you can see it in a minute. This Craig, good morning, Craig. Like so. Thank you. And then this little pea at the bottom has got his tongue out or her tongue out. And the rest really you can just go over. This one's smiling. Let me bring that one up for you. Hopefully you can see that okay. Just going over that a little bit. And then we could give him a coloured party hat, couldn't we? I think. So just doing dark around the edges. And then light runny apple green for the main bit. So definitely cooler today. No doubt about that. There we go. There we are. And I think this here needs to have a red. A red party hat. This is Poppy Parade. And this is going to be red stripes. I think so. Okay, so there's one. 
little set so it'll be interesting to see how this comes out now I've done this in the already in the green so we'll see which one we prefer so tomorrow we have the start of our paper sale for designer series paper the standard ones that are in the annual catalogue there's 15% off all the standard papers and if anybody's interested I will do a special priced paper share just for the discounted papers so you get a quarter of a pack of each of the papers which means you get a nice selection so I will get that information out hopefully by email tonight there we go right I think I'm going to try lemon lime twists because I think these are all a bit too close in colour I've also got parakeet party there let's see this is dark lemon lime twist let's just try parakeet party so I'm just using I'm actually using the larger brush side this time So let's do a tiniest little bit of red. Let's use the fine tip. <laughs> it's a small area, like so. And let's add a very soft pink if I can see petal pink to hand bubble bath might be a little bit too bright just going to dot that in right Okay, so I've got happy birthday and I've got happy birthday there. I think I do like this um, parakeet party. So I might just add a little bit of that to change the tone of the peas. This is light here. Yeah. Just so they stand out a little bit more. There we go. There we are. All right, so let's put these together. So this is my happy birthday. This is going to go on with dimensionals. Which for once, I actually have to hand. there and one in the middle go make sure it's opening the right way so there's that one cute and then this one with my all over background and then this is going to go in there now funnily enough I did that all in espresso and that all in garden green but at the time I hadn't really 
I hadn't planned it that way, just the way it came together. So this is the all over background that I stamped with the larger of the two foliage. And I'm going to pop those on and I think I might just put a little bit of um, twine through there to give it a little bit of interest. So I don't want to go green, there's a lot of green on there as it is. So I'm thinking just some plain baker's twine or even white. Or, I mean, I could go silver or something. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I do have green. There's garden green, funnily enough. Or natural, I think. Natural. I've also got white. Decisions. I think I'm going to go natural unless anybody <laughs> suggests anything else um, yeah the white gets lost on the white the green gets lost on the green so let's take oops I must clean and sharpen all of my scissors another one of those jobs to be done so just double that up let's have a look see like that and then I can have it maybe just put a little glue dot and have it coming down there so let's pop the backings off. And obviously for a baby card with the welcome sweet pea, you could use a coloured um, backing card. So, you know, pink or blue or yellow. There we go, and let's I don't know that I need to stick it down really. Let's trim those off together though. Like that. I could see my glue dots which my table for once is actually quite clear so but I can't see any glue dots so what I will do is just pop a tiny bit of glue under here let it go slightly tacky and then press my baker's twine onto it like that Give it a second or two, might need a little bit more actually, let's do two little pieces like that. And while that's doing, I've got some bling, I've got some lemon lime twist. So, while that's just sitting there, let's pop some on. So these are the sequins. One on the outside but I'm just going to put this one on this larger piece I've got a slightly smaller sequin there so there's that one right now that's had a little bit of time let's just place this on there And the thing is, you don't want to use your fingers on here because if any of the glue comes through, you'll end up with glue on your fingers. And then when you lift your fingers up, it takes all of the baker's twine with it. 
so just give it a little bit of time you can see I only put a tiny little bit on there okay and let's add a bit of bling to this and we are all done one better make sure I've got more of these for coffee and card haven't I there's another small one So that's nearly, that's nearly dry. It'll hold most of it. Even some of it comes away. It'll hold most of it in place. That's the main thing. And then what I might do is just quickly stamp on the back of the envelopes. Maybe just that little fun chappy. I can see him there he is so let me know do you like the green and green or do you like the espresso and green let me know if you have a preference they are rather cute aren't they Catherine I know they won't be everybody's cup of tea but you know you can do a fun card every now and again even for those who are not that bothered I think for this I'm going to do espresso for the backing go and because it's the envelope I can do my colouring on there I know it will go through a little bit on this um, piece here um, but if I keep it open like that the only time you'll see it is if you peel that part of the envelope off normally people will just rip the top of the envelope won't they so I will just quickly colour those in and we are done and dusted for today so I've got light and dark granny apple so just do a little bit of dark here so let me know if you know which one you think is the most effective this is garden green I could have used mossy meadow and this is espresso Yes, it could be there's more of a contrast with those peas. You're right, Catherine. She says she prefers the green. But it could be because I've coloured my peel, peas in a paler colour ink. Hello, Christine. So, let's go with that. same with this one they've both got red and white stripy party hats on Just constantly going over that edge obviously my dark granny apple green has more ink in it so it's taking more of the light to blend those together so if you find you stamped it and then colored in and you feel like you can still still see the stripes of the edges then just keep going over let it dry a little bit and then go over a little bit more there we go there we is and then it's just two quick stripes and we're all done just about in time so this is called sweet peas you'll find it in the annual catalog and it is a very cute stamp set and 
I think I'm just going to do one inner for one of those. Um, where's it gone? Yes. Count on lights espresso. So this is going to go inside. And only because I've got Granny Apple Green as my base, so what I could do is use a white card with a Granny Apple Green layer and then my piece on top of that. And then I wouldn't need to do an inner. Oh good, Caroline. You've got some of the girls coming tomorrow, haven't you? I thought they would enjoy this. So, dark granny apple green. And I guess you could have sort of pinky cheeks as well if you wanted to. But great for kids' cards, I think. But also, anybody. Right, just go over that and again keep going over that join and the secret is just to let it dry a little bit in between so you can see where you need to go two girls excellent okay let's pop that one in there and we are all done So coffee and card in toaster this afternoon, finishing off the, the cards that we did last week with the um, labelled with love with the coordinating punch. There we go. Happy birthday. And I guess you could have different coloured peas as well, you know, light to dark or whatever. There's that one. And the little pea on the back of the envelope. So, thank you so much for joining me. I hope, and let me just bring this up. I wasn't looking to see <laughs> how much of that you could actually see. So that's nicely fixed on there now, like so. So thank you for joining me this morning. Uh, I've got time for a quick cup of coffee, and then I'm out and about, and then coffee and card this afternoon. So I look forward to crafting with you later in the week. I have got some more kits to do, so I'll try and fit those in um, if not I'll definitely be here Thursday evening for some stepped up versions of the sweet peas maybe we'll have a fancy fold something slightly different this time so thank you so much for joining me I look forward to crafting with you very soon do take care enjoy your day afternoon evening ahead and um, thank you for joining me today bye for now